What's up, guys? I'm KB Kwan from Taste of Asian Food. Bún Cha has all the classic Vietnamese street food elements. When you take a bite with a mouthful of everything, the bursting flavor is a gastronomical experience that leaves you wanting more. So recently, I've decided to make it, and it turns out to be not as difficult as I'm expected. I've documented how to do it in details, and here's all you need to know if you want to make this northern Vietnamese dish at home. So let's get started right now. I've divided the preparation into sections, which you can do it separately. I would suggest getting other things ready in advance, except green the pork right before serving for the best results. So let's start by marinate the pork. Bun cha is grilled pork with noodles. It's usually included two types of pork, that is meatballs and thinly sliced pork belly. The sliced pork is best to prepare with pork belly, and don't be afraid that the pork belly is too fatty, as most of the oil will render during grilling. I always slice the pork belly when it is semi-frozen, as it is easier to cut it thinly. And I would suggest cutting the pork belly into about a quarter centimeter thick. The oil from the thinly sliced pork will render during grilling and is crispy if you serve it right away. Before we proceed to marinate the pork, let's make the caramel sauce. This is a special ingredient to marinate the pork. Place the sugar in a small pot. Heat over medium heat until the sugar is dissolved. Stir constantly and wait until the color turns golden. Add the hot water slowly to dilute it to become a sauce. Please be careful as the water will splatter when you add it to the melted sugar because it is very hot. You can add it slowly, say one tablespoon each time to prevent it from sputtering too much. It adds a smoky, sweet taste and a caramelized color to the pork. You can substitute the caramel sauce with molasses or honey. Once you get the caramel sauce ready, now we can start to marinate the sliced pork. First, garlic, onion, some additional sugar, ground black pepper, fish sauce, Oyster sauce, caramel sauce. Mix well and let it sit for half a day to enable the flavor to penetrate fully into the meats. The garlic and onion should be minced or chopped finely to enable the flavor to release in the meat. Large pieces of garlic and shallot or onion do not stick firmly onto the pork and burn quickly during grilling. Now let's move on to prepare the meatballs. The meatballs are juicier if the pork consists of certain amount of fat. Therefore, it is tastier to use minced pork with at least 20% of fat. You can use store-bought ground pork or purchase some shoulder loin with some fat to mince it yourself. The meatballs are marinated with the same set of ingredients as for the sliced pork. Mix all the ingredients, then lift the meat and repeatedly throw it back to the mixing bowl. This action will change the meatball's texture making it sticky and holding the onions and garlic securely in the patty. It is done when the meat is clear from the side of the bowl and becomes slightly bouncy. Portion the ground pork slightly smaller than a golf ball and then flatten them slightly. Let them sit for half a day before grilling. Next, we need to make a dipping sauce. Bun cha is served with a sauce called nuk cham, which is a dipping sauce used in a wide range of Vietnamese food. The sauce is relatively easy to make. Here's how to do it. 
put the sugar, fish sauce, vinegar, and water into a pot. Heat the mixture until the sugar dissolves. This step is to melt the sugar, and therefore you don't need to boil the sauce. Let it return to room temperature, and then add the lime juice and mix well. You also need to make some pickles to serve with the buncha. The most common ingredients are finely sliced carrots and green papayas. Cucumbers and kohlrabis are the alternative to green papayas if it is unavailable. Since I have some daikon that is white radish at home, I use it to substitute the green papaya, which turns out very tasty. Cut the carrots and green papayas, and in my case daikon, into thin slices. Add a large teaspoon of salt to it and mix well. Wait for 15 minutes. You will notice the salt has drawn out lots of water from the carrots and daikon. This step will make the pickles crunchier. Wash away the salt and drain. And then add the sugar, vinegar, mix and keep it at least one hour and it is done. Before you serve, let's grill the pork. The pork is best to grill over charcoal with a smoky flavor. But not everyone has a luxury to do it. Therefore, I use the grill pan over the stove top since I live in the apartment. When it's hot enough, place the pork belly on it, undisturbed for two minutes on one side to get the grill mark. Then flip over to do the same for the other side until it is nicely caramelized. Remove it, clean the pan and grill the meatballs. The method is the same except it takes slightly longer to cook than the sliced pork since the meatballs are thicker. The exact timing depends on the stove heat but it is best to use moderate heat to cook. It is crucial to grill over medium heat especially for the sliced pork since it cooks pretty fast and prolonged cooking will dry out the meat. Now it's time to serve the bun cha. Get a small bowl of dipping sauce. Add the chopped chili and minced garlic into it. The crunchy pickles. And place the meatballs and sliced pork in the sauce. Next, dunk the vermicelli, the herbs, in my case basil and mince into it. And immediately pick up a piece of meat with the herbs and the vermicelli which means now you have a mouthful of a bit of everything and enjoy. That's how to make bun cha, the Vietnamese street food grilled pork with vermicelli. I've included the recipe in the description below the video for your convenience. So please subscribe, tap the notification bell, and click the like button if you like this video. Finally, don't forget to share with your friends and family on social media. That's all for now. I will see you again in some other similar video soon. Thanks for watching and bye for now.